In this marketing quick start guide, you're going to learn the differences between Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and a powerful free tool you may have not heard about before, Google Optimize. Hey, I'm Jason, and if you're looking for the latest in traffic and conversion strategies to help grow your business, make sure you click that subscribe button. Now here we're going to talk about the big differences between what Tag Manager is, what Google Analytics is, what Optimize is, and what they are all supposed to be used for in improving your marketing. So we'll get started with the one that pretty much everyone should be using, and that is Google Tag Manager. So all Google Tag Manager is, is a virtual file cabinet for all of your tracking. So if you've ever run paid ads before, you know that Google or Pinterest or LinkedIn or Instagram and, and Facebook are going to give you a tag or a pixel or a code, whatever they wanna call it, and they want you to put it across all the pages on your site, or they only want you to put it on certain pages on your site. Now you can imagine it can be a real headache if you have to go do that every single time you start a new traffic source or every single time you want to create a new split test for a product. What Google Tag Manager does is it's one piece of code that goes across your entire site one time and then that's it, you're done. And then what you can do is you can take all those other codes and put them inside of Tag Manager. And what's really great about Tag Manager is it really is your virtual file cabinet for all of your tracking codes. So inside of Tag Manager, not only are you going to be able to see all the codes in one place, so no codes go missing, you're also going to be able to set something called a trigger. And I won't get too much into this, but essentially, if you want to track a certain event that happens on your site, you can make one trigger inside of Tag Manager and then tell all of your traffic sources this matters, as opposed to having to set it up for each individual one. And just when it comes to tracking in general, what isn't tracked can't be measured and what isn't measured can't be improved. But it's really hard to improve if your tracking is broken or if you have some code someplace that you just don't know where it is because everything is inside of Tag Manager and there's a very, very de OCD detailed chain of updates and events inside of Tag Manager, it's virtually impossible, pun intended, to lose your code. Now, the next one on our list is Google Analytics. And what Analytics does is this is a piece of code that would go inside of Tag Manager and it tells you everything that's happening on your site and gives you a little bit of demographic information. The power of Google Analytics is really in its ability to tell you how people are engaging and interacting with your site. It is the most powerful free analytics tracking tool. And when you use something called UTM parameters, you actually have the ability to start telling Google Analytics where traffic is coming from. So you can actually break down in detail exactly what ad or what blog post or piece of content ultimately resulted in a new lead or sale. So a link in the description to a video on this channel on how to properly set up Google Analytics and some other fancy things you can do with it. Now, the final one on our list here is Google Optimize, and it is the lesser known of the three. And what Google Optimize allows you to do is with one code on your site, again, you're gonna take that code put it inside of Tag Manager, you're going to be able to run split tests. And so you won't have to purchase a fancy piece of landing page software in order to start running split tests. What's really nice about Google Optimize is you actually get to create one page and then using the code that's on the site, you'll be able to change those elements on the page even if you're not using a page builder. So this is great, especially if you're on a WordPress site or you're on a larger corporate site that doesn't allow you to easily go in and change things. Just getting this code on the site, then you can easily make all the changes you want without ever having to worry about messing up the actual original page. So that does it for what Tag Manager is, what Google Analytics is, and what Google Optimize is. If you want to learn more about any one of these tools, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we have a lot of tutorials on how to effectively use these to improve your marketing and sales conversion rates. So thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more tactics and strategies, just like the ones covered in this video. And until the next, keep building the business you love.